Hey, how's it going world? This is Casual Chris. And in this video, I want to show you the difference between sampling and shopping with Beatmaker 3. Let's get it. Now, this video all became an idea because of a problem or a solution to a problem that I had. And that was, I wanted to play, I already had a full loop, I had my loop going, whole vibe of the song was pretty much done, and I wanted to add an intro where a part of the loop was looping itself, so a loop within a loop, basically. So, I just couldn't figure it out to do it with a sampler, so, and that, previous to that, that's all I knew was just this bad boy here. Um, and I didn't want to re-bring it into another, um, I just didn't want to bring it into another sampler. It was just a pain in the butt. So eventually I lost that song. So here's how not to lose that song. This is your sampler. I've done a lot of tutorials on it, but uh, basically polyphony is a very big uh, thing that lets you know how many how many samples can go off at the same time. So if you want to play multiple samples, you change the polyphony per sample. But that's not what we're talking about there. So there's that. Another thing, the live stretch. Great if you know the BPM of your sample. sample. If you know the BPM of your sample, awesome. Try to look it up. If not, there's ways to like play the metronome until it matches the beat basically or you can grit it but that's not really that accurate because like this it's just really not that accurate so don't worry about that so this is your sampler um here uh, you loop things awesome great there you play it here now up until this i didn't know anything more than this so say if i had a loop going there that's fine but what if I only wanted to grab this loop right in here, you know, but I already had this loop going here. Like, am I gonna go in and, and add another, um, you could go in and you can add another um, slice in there and, and that's what I was trying to do, but it just blew my entire workflow. So here's another solution. What I could have done is gone here since I know the BPM of my song, or know the BPM of my sample, you go here. Add track, create new audio track. Now your audio track is gonna be called one. I never used this before. Drag, drop, boom. There you go. So now that you have it there, I could go in, cut, cut and then delete that delete that and then i have what i wanted that whole time and now i could throw it back in the sampler or i could just leave it on the grid leave it here and just duplicate it and just make another loop out of it which is what i ended up doing is making a loop out of that loop so um i like to go ahead and merge it after so you just hit this button here and just scroll over it and then hit um can hit merge oh i guess you can't do it with uh i guess you can't do it with uh samplers guess you can't do that with the audio file but um yeah so instead of grabbing that first part you're just grabbing that other part Yeah, so that's exactly what I wanted to do. That was my workaround, and that's what I found out, is you can just create a new audio file and then just start slicing it, chopping it up via the scissors tool here, and then looping it that same way how you wanted it. A little bit different, um, but different techniques for whatever it is you're trying to do musically. For me, that was just my intro. So again, I hope that helped. 
Um, hope that helped you with the difference. If you have any ideas with your songs, that you know, chop up, chop it up instead of actually throwing it in a sampler. Try it out. All right. Well, thank you once again for tuning in. You guys have a great one.